Hi guys, we are going to make this hood or bonnet um, today. You can use any type of yarn, you can use any type of hoop you like. Um, just yeah, keep watching the video and you can make this hood or bonnet as well. Enjoy! So first, um, well first, um, I'm going to show you um, the size of this bonnet. You can't fit my hands, both hands, but the width. Oh, my cat is okay. The width for this bonnet is about ten and a half. If folded and 12 inches in length it's like a hood it's quite big um, you can adjust it to your own size as well but I'm just going to show you this size how I made this With this, I used um, probably a bulky yarn and because it didn't have a label. This yarn's very thick, 100% wool. Um, and then I used 6.5 millimeter hook. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Red Heart's Unforgettable yarn. It's worse to the weight, but the instruction here says to use six millimeter hook so I'm going to be using that oh, oh. my cat is playing with my tape so you're gonna be you're gonna need your tape measure as well as well I have this yarn and a quarter left because I might not have enough but I hope I have enough for this tutorial and scissors, dining needle, I think that's about it so I'm gonna start with this skein right here skein I'll just put this aside well yeah so for the foundation chain oh, i chained until it was about four oh, 14 inches she's really playful right now so take your tape measure your measuring tape This is just like, if you watch my previous story for the bunny balaclava, this is just like how I did the balaclava body. Oh, I thought this yarn was going to be thicker. Oh, it's a little bit thin, but I'm just going to use six millimeter hook anyway. So chain as many chain as you need to get the measurement 14 inches and you will have to chain um, an even amount of chains so I'll meet you back when I have the chains and I'll tell you how many chains I did okay so I have my chains right here this yarn is a little bit like very stretchy I guess so, um, okay, I'm pulling this until like it's not all the way stretched out, but it's still, I don't know how to explain this, just straight. Um, yeah, I have 14 inches long. The chains are, yeah, 14 inches and... I chained 44 
If you're following this measurement, um, you can use any yarn you would like to use. So now chain one. So I mean add one chain. And it's hard to see. Pretty dark here. Um, in the second chain from hook. So right here, not this one, but this one. Make a half double crochet. Oh, this looks kind of weird. Okay, well, half double crochet. And put one half double crochet in each chain that you made. Until there's no more chain to work with. And I will end up making 44 half double crochets. You should have even numbers of even numbers of stitches. Like so. We'll make half double crochet. I always put like beginner friendly, but I always forget to um, explain how to do the stitches, so I'll do that right now. I'm just not good at it, that's why. Um, so to make a half double crochet, yarn over, put your hook in the chain, pull up a loop, and pull through all three. Yarn over, put your hook in the chain, pull up a loop, pull through all three. That's half double crochet. So I'll meet you back when we're all done with um, making half double crochet with, for the first row. So I guess I actually, um, I actually ended up making 46 half double crochets. Um, I guess I chained more than I thought. I counted, but it was just hard to count. But it does not change anything. You can, um, as long as you have even stitch, even even number of stitches, that's good. So just follow the instruction of, yeah. So if you chained up to 14 inches, that's good. Now, yeah, it does not change anything. You want to chain one, turn your work to start the second row. So make one half double crochet in each stitch. And I'll make the rows of half double crochet until the width, not the length, but the width. Right now it's less than an inch. I'll make the half double crochet rows until the width measures about three and a half inches. Okay. And right now we are making the top of the bonnet. I'll show you what it's like. Um, so we are making this top part of the bonnet right now yeah so three and a half inches so just pause right here and I'll you'll make half the crochet rows and I'll meet you when I have the width of of three and a half inches Once you have your measurement, 3.5 inches, you want to, so this is where you ended the last stitch, don't cut the yarn. So you want to uh, take a measuring tape, tape measure, and measure 5.5 inches. So it's like 
let's turn this You want to measure 5.5 inches and mark that stitch. And count the stitch from the top. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six. So I have 18 inches, that's even numbers. It really has to be even numbers because yeah, that's the pattern. So I have 18 inches and I have the stitch marker on the 18th, or oh, 18 stitches, sorry. I have my stitch marker on the 18th stitch. Now to work on the side, This to work on the side. So this was the top top part and the I really struggle explaining this and people get confused a lot. But imagine that this there's a head here and there's a top of the head and then this like around here is the neck part. So we're building the side here. So let's do one side first. Chain one, make one half double crochet, and make a half double crochet until you get to the stitch marker. Don't work on the stitch marker though. We're gonna do something different. So, yeah, just make one half double crochet in each in each stitch. Okay, I'm reaching the stitch marker now. So you should have even numbers of stitches. I have 18 stitches. Um, I got the count from measuring 5.5 inches. So take your stitch marker out. Now on to the next, into the next uh, two stitches, we're going to make a slip stitch. To make a slip stitch, put your hook in the stitch, pull up a loop and pull through one. So make two slip stitch and turn your work. Skip these two slip stitch and make a half double crochet in the third. And make a half double crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of the row. Once you reach the end of the row, chain one and turn. Make one half double crochet in each stitch. Until you get to the last stitch right here. So these are the two slip stitch you did. And this is the the first stitch after you turned that we made half double crochet. So make your half double crochet until you get to the last stitch. 
So I feel like this tutorial is going to be a bit longer than usual. I mean, I always make mine really long, I'm sorry, but um, because I want to walk you through every row for more explanation, I guess. And so this is the last stitch. Now we're going to make two slip stitches again. It's right here. One, two, turn your work. Skip these two slip stitch, two stitches, and into the third stitch, we're going to make a half double crochet. Make one half double crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of the row. Once you get to the end of the row, chain one, and we're gonna basically do the same thing all over again until there's no more stitches to work into. So I'll show you again. Make one half double crochet in every stitch until you get to the last stitch right here. And we'll be making slip, slip stitches again. So I'll show you one more time, but make one double crochet in every stitch until you get to the part where you're going to make the slip stitches. So yeah, I'll show you again. Last stitch. The last stitch is always hard to see but you'll get the hang of it so once you made the half double crochet into the last stitch we're gonna make two slip stitches one two turn your work and into the third stitch we're going to make one half double crochet make one half double crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of the row and I will come back and show you um, once we get to the last two slip stitch. So keep keep doing this pattern, and I'll show you what to do next. So you just wanna make half double crochets and then once you get here turn your work and, and then make half double crochet onto the stitch here and make two slip stitch turn your work and into the third stitch you make half double crochet repeat the pattern and I'll show you how to end this row uh, how to end this part So I am getting closer to doing the last row. Just making half double crochets in each stitch until you and we I get to do the slip stitch. It's the last stitch. Now there are two stitches left. You want to make one slip stitch and another slip stitch and turn your work. This will be the last row, half double crochet row. Skip two stitch and into the third you want to make one half. Oh, I messed that up. Into the third stitch you want to make one half double crochet. And make one half double crochet in each stitch until you get to the end of the row 
and you can cut the yarn and tie it off. Chain two and grab your scissors and cut. Pull tight. So one side is done. That's how it should look like. Now we're going to do the other side. So basically you want to do the same for the other side, but then um, it's just foundation change so it's just a little bit hard to see um, you want to count the same stitches that you did for the other side so I did 18 remember so I did 18 I'm gonna count 18 it's a little bit hard to count but 2 4 6 8 10 2 4 6 8 now these are the uh, the stitches that you will make slip stitches into. Oh, that was hard to say, but um, so you want to connect your yarn here. Just basically keep repeating the pattern that you did for the other side. So make one half of crochet in each stitch until, I mean, before you until you get the stitch marker but don't make the stitch into the stitch marker because you you counted 18 or 18 or um 5.5 inches and these are even numbers so make sure that you have even numbers so make half the crochet take out your stitch marker and into the stitch marker you want to make one slip stitch and into the next stitch you want to make one more slip stitch and turn your work and skip the two slip stitch you just you just did and into the third loop third stitch you want to make a half double crochet and just keep repeating that it's just the same as the other side we just did so i'll show you once we've done that um i'll show you how to do the um ribbing I'm just reaching the end and I will want I, I, I'm going to um, do the ribbing with a different color so I'm gonna change the color before finishing the last half double crochet I'm going to connect a different yarn I'm going to use a mustard color Hopefully I can find the end for this yarn. I'm struggling. Okay. So I don't know where it is. Um there we go. I'm just gonna cut it. Okay, sorry for taking so long. Um, connect the yarn to the working yarn. I already cut the yarn though. Um, connect the... If you're changing color. Connect the yarn to the working yarn. I like to tie it twice. I always tie it twice with chain two. And pull towards the last half double crochet. And finish the last half double crochet with the new yarn. Chain one, actually chain two. Turn your work. You will actually want to flip this work. So flip it so the ribbon comes on the right side. Now, forget about this ends. We are going to make, okay, we're going to make um, front post half double crochet and then 
back both half double crochet and to do that so we're going to make three by three so to make the first front post half double crochet yarn over and put your hook from the front and wrap this half double crochet with a hook and then pull the yarn like so and pull through all three loops I'm gonna make two more so yarn over put your hook from front to back and back to the front and pull the yarn on this half double crochet and pull through all three yarn over front to back back to front then pull the yarn pull the loop and pull through all three that's a front pulse half double crochet so we did three front pulse half double crochet now we're going to do three back post half double crochet and to do the back post we're gonna yarn over and from the kind of want to twist it but this is how you do the back post from back to front and front to back okay from back to front and around around this half double crochet here back I mean front to back and then pull the yarn pull for all three it's a little bit hard to explain but let's do it again yarn over pre-hook here and back to front hook is going to front to back and pull the yarn pull for all three So we want to keep this pattern of three front pulls, back, front pulls half double crochet and back pulls half double crochet. It's the front. So the front post, we always going to wrap the stitch from the front, and for the back, we are always going to. Um, wrap this stitch right here with um, from, from back to front sorry I just got a message back to front back to front three 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 and once we get to the part where we did the um I forgot how about to say oh my goodness once we get to the first rows that we did before the side the top part of this bonnet Um, I'm gonna show you just a second in just a second so we want to do this until you get to here okay so I got to the point where there's one stitch left so that means well I can't really make three but we can work on the side of these rows that we made the first part so we, there are half double crochet rows to I made nine here so you want to make one stitch into one row so I ended with front post half double crochet now I'm going to make 
back post half double crochet one this is a, the first row so just going to make one stitch of back post half double crochet in one row and this is a second row let's see so another one here it's a little bit hard to see but so now we're going to make front pose half double crochet one two three now back post two three and we just keep repeating this pattern of three front posts and three back posts now i'll show you once i get to the end of this row um yeah i'll show you okay i am getting to the end of the row and there are a few stitches left um three stitches so this really depends on how many stitches you have for your project um so don't worry about ending the the last stitch with if it's the third stitch or the second stitch or the first don't worry about it we just want to make one half double crochet normal one into this stitch because everyone has different um, count of stitches yeah so now to turn chain two turn your work now I have these last two stitches were back post so that means looks like it's it's front post so um, it's a little bit confusing to explain actually so for the back post that we did from the previous row we want to make front post into that so front post so for the front post that we did from the previous row we want to make it we want to make back post uh back post into the front post so from the front it looks like this so these are the back posts that we did in our previous row so we want to make front post into that these are front posts we're gonna make back posts into them and just repeat this pattern until you get to the other side here and please do not cut the yarn because we're gonna keep working with this yarn thank you okay the ribbon is looking really good so as you can see i am making the ribbon i don't know so just making three by three of back post and front post i'm not really sure if i like this color combo it is what it is so okay 
if you want your ribbing to be longer you can make it longer but I'm just going to finish it right here just uh, oh, I think I made a mistake With just two rows of ribbing it is really confusing to explain how you have to make front post into back post back post into front post but I hope I can I hope I explain that clearly not too confusing Okay, I'm ending this row. So make one half of a crochet into the first two chains that we did. Two chains we did, make half of a crochet. Oh, I'm so sorry, my camera is not focused at all. Okay, now chain one. So, not sure if you can see this yet, but this is the bonnet. We'll be making the bottom part right now. So turn your work. Make one half double crochet in each row. Now you can weave this in as you go or you can just use your darning needle later. So I'm just going to make one half double crochet in each row that we did now meet you guys once I get to the other side of this work so we'll get to this point and I'll show you how to do the ties Ignore this one, ignore this end. Now, last half double crochet. Once you have made your last half double crochet, you're gonna chain, we're gonna make the ties, so we're gonna chain um, 50. once you chain 50 chain one more and then make one slip stitch into the second second chain from hook so right here and make a slip stitch into every stitch until you have 50 slip stitches and do not cut the yarn because we're gonna make one more tie so keep making, um, yeah, keep making your slip stitches and I'll meet you back once we have 50 slip stitches. Yep. Last stitch. Now, let's see find the bottom of the work so the ribbing we're not going to work on the ribbing anymore we are going to make work into the half double crochets we did on the bottom bottom of the bonnet we're gonna work single crochet into every stitch 
until you get to the other side. So make one single crochet in each stitch from the previous row that's just a half double crochet on the bottom of the bonnet and so make a single crochet all the way around until you get here Okay, so I'm ending this row with the single crochet. Now chain 50 again. If you chain, chain more or less, make the same amount of chains. And yeah, I'll show you. Once you chain 50 again, we're just going to make a slip stitch into every stitch and once you get to the the bonnet right here we're gonna cut the yarn and weave in all the ends so once you get to the bonnet you're gonna want to make a slip stitch and chain two with my scissors and cut the yarn and basically it's yeah the bonnet is done or hood whatever you want to call it so I am going to weave in all the ends right now the ones that I didn't weave in as I go I guess it doesn't really matter which is right side or wrong side. I like, I think I like this side more. So I'll just make it this side. Just weave in wherever you feel comfortable. Nice, there are only two ends to weave in. And I'll show you um, how it looks on me. How it looks on me. Okay. Okay, let's try this on. Okay. Thank you. I actually like these colors. Yeah, if it's just right. Um, yeah, I made it one size, so hopefully that it fits your size as well. This size fits the most people, I'm sure. I'll show you the back as well. Hope you liked it. Um, thanks so much for watching. See you next time.